Hello students, I am Dr. Ashish Vikhar and today I am going to explain inversions of double slider crank chain. In some previous video lectures, we have seen inversions of four bar chain as well as inversions of single slider crank chain. For seeing these videos, you can use my YouTube channel or subscribe my YouTube channel and the name of my YouTube channel is Dr. Ashish Vikhar or you can also visit to my website drvikhar.com so which are the inversions of double slider crank chain basically there are three inversions one is called elliptical trammel second one is called scotch yoke mechanism and third one is known as Oldham's coupling. So what is double slider crank chain? If we see the definition, the definition states that a kinematic chain which consists of two turning pairs and two sliding pairs is known as double slider crank chain. So why it is called double slider crank chain? Because it consists of two turning pairs and two sliding pairs so take these two points in your account it is having two turning pairs and two sliding pairs and the best example of this is elliptical trammel so what is there inside the elliptical trammel when slotted plate is fixed then it becomes the first inversion of double slider crank chain mechanism and the example is elliptical trammel so in case of elliptical trammel the slotted plate is fixed and when it is fixed then we get the first inversion of double slider crank chain mechanism double slider crank shaft has two sliding pairs two turning pairs this i have said already already to you a kinematic chain which consists of two turning pairs and two sliding pair is known as double slider crank chain It is named double slider crank shaft because it has two sliding pairs. It has two sliders, one frame in which the slider moves and one link which connects the two slide and fix the distance between the two slider. So this way these four kinematic links are present inside the double slider crank chain. Two sliders are there, one frame is there. <coughs> and slider along with the slider we can have one link which connects the two slide the frame in which the slider moves is a combination of two straight grooves which form a single link and cut each other at right angle so the first example is elliptical trammel and it is a simple mechanism which can trace exact exact elliptical path so elliptical path is created or traced with the help of elliptical trammel. So elliptical trammel is used in automatic tool changer in machining operation. Automatic cutting tool changer that can be controlled or moved with the help of this elliptical trammel. So let us see the structure of elliptical trammel which is the first inversion of double slider crank chain. In this picture you will see all the four links link number one is a slider so this is nothing but a slider which is called as a link number one link number two is the bar you can see here the connection between the bar and this is called as a link number two this is another slider which is called as a link number three this is another slider given here and link number four is a slotted plate so this way this is a slotted plate that you can see of this elliptical trammel so we see that link number two and link number one so this is a link number two which is called as a bar and link number one which is called as a slider here we can have one turning pair so here we can have the one turning pair link number two this is a link number two and link number three which is another slider form the second turning pair so this way two turning pairs are formed in this way 
after that we will see that in this the link number 3 and link number 4 this is a link number 3 which is a called as a slider and link number 4 is a slotted plate <coughs> it forms one sliding pair and link number 1 and 4 link number 1 slider and this slotted plate this slider and this slotted plate link number this one this link number 1 and 4 form a second sliding pair so two turning pairs and two sliding pairs are formed in this uh, fashion elliptical trammel this type of inversion is used to draw the ellipse this is the basic application it is also known as the trend of archimedes it can be used to draw ellipses of different sizes it is an instrument used for drawing ellipses as we have seen this inversion is obtained by fixing the slotted plate so the slotted plate link number float is going to be fixed and that that's why we can obtain elliptical trammel the fixed plate or link number four has a two straight grooves <coughs> cut in it at right angles to each other so these are the two grooves here that can be formed the link number one and link number three link number one and link number three are known as a sliders and form a sliding pairs with link number four and link a b so this a to b which is called link number two is a bar which forms a turning pair with the link number one and three so this way we can have the two turning pairs and two sliding pairs in elliptical trammel <laughs> second inversion is scotch yoke mechanism you will see again four links link number one here link number 2 is crank link number 3 is slider and link number 4 is frame what is the use of this scotch yoke, yoke mechanism this inversion transforms transforms rotational motion into reciprocating motion so here we can have the explanation when any one of the slider is fixed in the mechanism then it becomes second inversion of double slider crank an example of second inversion is scotch yoke mechanism the inversion is obtained by fixing either the link 1 or link 3 so this inversion is obtained by fixing by fixing link 1 or link 3 so here is the link 1 and here is the link 3 that is called as a slider in this particular mechanism when the link 2 link 2 this is nothing but called as a crank rotates about a center b this is crank is rotating about a center b as a center the link 4 link 4 is given here which corresponds to frame reciprocates the fixed link 1 guides the frame so in this way we can have the working of scotch yoke mechanism and a third inversion of double slider crank chain is oldham's coupling you will see another four links so here starting with the link number one is called as a frame flange this is nothing but the flange after that uh, this is nothing but link number two which is called as a supporting frame link number three is another flange so there are two flanges link number one and link number three these are the two flanges and link number four is nothing but here you will see the intermediate piece so an oldham's coupling is used for connecting two parallel shafts whose axes are at some distance part you will see that this is a one shaft and it this is the axis of first shaft and this is another shaft which is having another axis you will see that there is some quite a distance between that axis of the two, two shafts the shafts are coupled in such a way that if one shaft rotates if this shaft rotates you will see that this shaft is also going to rotate at the same speed this inversion is obtained by fixing the link number 2 so link number 2 is going to be fixed and we will get the inversion which is called as an oldham's coupling coupling means to join the two shafts which is used to join the two shafts thank you very much